my story. This is our story. At the event, BIPOC speakers shared personal stories about their experiences of dealing with racism right here in Canada. So tell me, what do you understand racism to me? A bunch of these little trapezoid shaped pieces. Okay. Oh my god, he showed up! That is not a fair comparison. What? I don't think your dog is racist, yeah? No, she's not racist at all. She actually loves people. She's black and she's white. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Obviously, what they're doing is important. wrapped around in the design or in the shape that is most suited to you, to your style. Okay, it is 1.56 a.m. It's a sketch one time, I'm working on my edit. And my little assistant editor here keeps jumping up on the desk. I remember not really seeing myself reflected. All I'm saying is, we're in this together. We should fight for each other. You told me you do PI work now, right? Only for paying customers. You're on the I think to myself, I'm not going to fall. I'm tired of falling. I'm what do you think, Widget? Think Canada's ready for this film? Aside, I hope that this film that I made is something that helps solve a few mysteries in Canada. Because although it is a story that is partially based on things that happened within my own family. I'm sure that there are other families out there who have similar stories out there. And other First Nations people who are trying to find their mothers who can't. So I hope that this is able to help open a few doors there and reunite a few families. <laughs>